What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Age of History 2. And today, we're going to have a look at the Soviet Union. So the past two previous video, we did about Germany and Poland. And today, we're going to do about the Soviet Union. So it's going to be a big thing for the event. So we're going to explore what's going to happen for the Soviets. So it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be really good. Uh, I'm going to just adjust my cash and uh, get some stuff ready with these points. So that we can see how would it goes with the Soviet Unions. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Warmerster. I do World War II content. And today we're going to play Age of History 2. Okay, so first event, please, please. Soviet of the world united. The Soviet Union, the greatest state of world, formed by the revolution of the working class, now stand tall in world order. Our men are brave, our workers are productive, and our women are beautiful. We will spread the revolution in our way to the common world. Long live the USSR. Commission will prevail. Moscow 50-50-50. Okay. The third, the red, uh, the, the red army, our main defense and defense of force is glorious. The red army, ready to invade or protect the glory of communism, it is well trained and has experience thanks to the civil war. We believe that with whole high regards. Many have thought it's expanding too. So what should we do? Mobilize a part of it. Perform a high level of drilling exercise. I think we should mobilize all of it so that we can get some stuff. Okay. The Stalin era. After the death of the founder of our state, Lenin, we need to. Be led by a strong man that could maintain the grip onto power and keep developing the nations and army. The man was Stalin and he's our greatest authority figure and the reform has passed and turned this country from a peasant union to an industrial powerhouse. Stalin of our would have been better. Oh okay. Okay, so there's a path right here for a civil war. Uh I'll I'll check it out later maybe to see if to see what war happens. So Stalin our father, okay. What's next? A government filled with reactionary and traitor. So this is the trial twenty one, S twenty one. Even if we send away the Menshevik leader Trotsky and we expel many of other unloyal, ungrateful bastards, our government and many other workplace in the union are filled with reactionary scums with traitors that don't believe in certain cause. They need to be fired from their position and bear from having power. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's next? The effects of the five-year plan. The greatest of the Stalin policies, the five-year plan was supposed to be a mass industrialization of non-rural areas. Factories and other in uh, industrials, all state control, sprouts up in a union like wildfire, our economy rising up to the level of they were seen before. And together with all this, our literacy rate will go up immensely. Okay. We are greatly grateful the industrialized Ural one of the many places left out by the five-year plan was on the region near the Ural mountain due to the inhospitability for the industrial growing but we have to change this we must make sure that every part of our union is well industrialized and ready to sustain the population Ooh, Ural mountain mm. finally some good events even though it doesn't really look like Hoi 4 but this one deserves to be the best it's really good. The armament effort. While the soldiers and army are well prepared, at least ready to fight, armament like industrially, lack of tanks, planes, we must convert some of the civilian factory if we want to ready for any situation. Mm hmm This is like Hoi 4 when you convert everything. Yeah. The economy is growing. Finally, some good news for the worker. Use the money to invest in the economy once more. Okay, I mean, if you want to boost it up, why not? The capitalist pig lurks in shadow. Stop it before it goes too big. Let them do their thing. Even this one. okay. Mm hmm. A step toward global communism. We must remain isolated. We have to open up to the rest of communism's world. So this is two things. If you choose, we remain isolated. That's gonna be Stalin. And if you choose, we have to open up to the rest of the communist world. That is Trotsky. You know why? Because uh, I play both Hoi Four, the the one with Trotsky and with No Trotsky, and looking to the focus tree and also reading some of the Wikipedia. Turns out Trotsky is like you know he wants to make communism prevail by by peace, so it's kind of crazy. So we're gonna go Stalin. The path of isolation. We will stay focus on getting better army, of course. We're gonna fight Germans later. Who knows? And Romania just annex Hungary. Oh my God, this is OP. This is 1936, 37. 
Okay. The matters of minority enforce central life with force, grant them the amount of autonomy. So, if we give them autonomy, it's going to be a big problem like uh, independent states. So, centralization. And Italy is declaring war on Yugoslavia. Way too early, man. Bulgaria declared war on Soviet Union. Oh, they must be high. And they're gonna take it out. Um, oh, they liberated Serbia. That's freaking amazing, man. This is like the event, you know? Uh huh. It's cool. That's cool, bro. How about the Chinese Civil War thing? I mean, Soviet Union should at least send something to China because right now China is not getting anything. The Finnish question We cannot think about respect on the other side. We could, we could afford a war with them, but why bother? Why not? Go to war. Okay, nothing changed, nothing changed, nothing changed, 1938, we should be at war in 1939, right? Or maybe the modern didn't, didn't edit yet or something. The Finland will be ours, the winter war started, okay. Just like I mentioned, so we mobilize our forces. I mean, I had a chance to do it earlier, but I didn't do it. So. Fuck it. Okay, so we're gonna take a few of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one, this one. Boom. Okay. Nice. Gonna just and we take this, take this, take this. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need- oh, sorry, sorry. So we need to defeat the, uh, finish as soon as we can, because the kind of- So strong. <laughs> Actually, I was supposed to get ready, because I got the event earlier. But I did not expect it to be like this. With a strong finish forces. Oh my god, I got like, what? 17k? What the hell, man? Okay, I will get this one. Okay, they agree. Never mind. Prepare for a war against Bulgaria? Hell no. And oh my god, Germany is early, man, with this war. I mean, if you're ready, we can just also take Poland as well. So these are some part that's still not the part of us. Which is okay. H's peace deal. Okay, okay. Ah! So you see, you get it for free. You don't even have to fight. You just, you know, stay cool, bro. And where's Molotov Ribbentrop? Yes! Here we go. Molotov Ribbentrop. The German's ambassador Ribbentrop has offered us a non aggression pack. So to speak, they asked us since we are both extreme in the eyes of the world to create a pact between our two states so we can remain neutral with each other and work together in the upcoming partition of Poland. Their plan has surprised us, but we can shy away from such opportunity. We will accept the pact. Nice. The partition of Poland. Goodbye, Poland. And yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. And there we go. Boom, 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 bam. Okay, and we just push it in. Okay, we're gonna go deep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm -hmm. That's a new system. Preparation against the Baltics. Okay, interesting. I guess they're getting ready for some stuff. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there we go. And turns out uh, Poland managed to push back uh, the Germans. No, I'm gonna go. Okay. The invasion of the Baltic state, the Baltic is coming back. Oh my god, so we're gonna declare war at them simultaneously. Crazy, dude. This is a uh, hell loose, man. Let's, let's get some stuff ready. This is too fast. Mm-hmm. There we go. Man, we can take these. And uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. And there we go. Mm hmm. Nice, nice. Step by step, step by step. Okay, so Poland is still there. So we're gonna take it all here, the Baltics. Estonia and Latvia. Okay. Okay, so that's good. No more event, I guess. Just waiting for the war with the Germans. And there's a civil war here. So I need to get ready. As for now, I don't have any forces. The ultimatum to Romania, son, the ultimatum, okay. Demand Bessarabia, okay, that's nice. Quite accurate. Oh, you want to go to war? Let's go to war, my brother. Okay, so we got troops ready. Uh-huh. I think they are well prepared, man. We are the one that's not well prepared. Because they just keep on pushing and pushing. Okay. Okay, you know what? I think that's it. It's enough. Not because I'm uh, lazy or something, but I feel like that I don't want to go with Romania right now. Romania is too big. Like, I don't have any forces, and they kind of get ready already since the early game. I was reckless about the event, so I really didn't care. And we have less troops, that's why they're being cocky and stuff. But, uh, let's see how it goes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why don't I just ask for peace deal, right? Yeah, and pay for the event. And there we go, okay. Nineteen forty-one, twenty-second 22nd of June. Oh, they're ready. They're coming. I told you. I told you. It did happen. It even Iran attacked me, man. Oh my god. This is this is really cool. <coughs> amazing. Amazing. Amazing event. Really, really good. I mean, we should also have the event for uh Order 36 or something, you know, this one will be probably Operation Barbarossa. Really cool, man. This is amazing. I'll just show it for here. I will let you guys explore by yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you do. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.